hope you're all fine and well on these lovely sunny days we're getting. Uh, just out for a quick ride with the gang today. But I wanted to give you all a bit of an update on Relay Riders UK. Um, before I get into the update, just to recap, just in case any of you haven't seen my previous videos on Relay Riders, what Relay Riders is, it's a two week event starting at the in about two weeks time just over two weeks time um, basically a bike relay all over the UK for charity in this case for the nationwide association of blood bikes and what happens is one rider sets off from one point with the mascot rides to the, his destination swaps the mascot with the next rider and so on and so forth um, obviously Nationwide Association of Blood Bikes brilliant cause um, and the whole thing is 211 legs 6,452 miles it takes their place day and night 24-7 for the two week period so at some point we will be coming past you wherever you live in the UK if you do see us about any relay, any bikes with, uh, with relay stickers on, or if you see any riders with relay riders t-shirts, um, things like that over the levers, give us a wave, guys! Give us a wave because we'll all, we'll very much appreciate it. At the moment, for the Nationwide Association of Blood Bikes with relay riders this year, we've raised approximately three thousand two hundred pounds. We do want to get that up a bit if we can. So there is a donations page if you'd like to donate. Uh, I'll leave the links for that below. And there's also memorabilia or a shop, shall I say, uh, where you can buy things like t-shirts, hoodies, fleeces, beautiful bike decals like my bike has. Uh, and like a couple of other bikes in front of me have because these are actually guys that I've met via relay, via relay riders. And we quite often go out together now for ride outs. Brilliant cause, brilliant people. Obviously a massive event to do, you know, that amount of mileage and to make sure all the handovers and everything are done properly. Make sure people meet people in the right places. Logistical nightmare for the guys that worked it all out, but it's all been worked out. I'm basically just looking for a bit of support. So if you do see us, give us a wave. If you can donate, go to the donations page and donate on there. If you know me personally, I'll have sponsorship forms with me most of the time, so you can uh, sponsor me directly. Help us that way. If you want to get involved, this is what, what you know, you can, you can still get involved. Obviously you can't have your own leg any longer because they've all been worked out a long time in advance. To, you know, because there was so much to do, 211 legs like I said. So all the routes have been worked out. But if you do want to take part, if you want to come as a, a sport rider, that's still very possible. Uh, just to help make sure that no riders are riding by themselves. Especially the guys riding through the night, stuff like that, you know what I mean? It'd be nice if they've got always got somebody or a few people riding with them. So I'll also leave a link on there to the routes. And if you have a look at those routes, if there's a, when they're passing through your area, if you think it's something you can do, if you think you're better support, join in guys, it's £5 per bike if you wanted to take part, and with that £5 donation you can do as many legs as you want, it's not just for one leg, you can do as many legs as you want, just, just make the one payment. So if you can do that, that would be absolutely brilliant, because support riders are always needed, like I say, it's just more of a safety thing, if you know, if we're riding in groups, anything does go wrong with so much to do and other people to meet we can make sure we're constantly in contact with people things like that the mascot carriers for each leg also carry a tracker which one of the admin staff is constantly watching again day and night you know they'll be on shifts watching that track and making sure people are getting to where they need to go to making sure there's no stops there shouldn't be things like that um, and now I don't mean by that, I don't mean you can't stop off for a brew or anything like that, but you know, if you, if you stop for a, 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 you know, for a reason on, say, like a major railroad, and you suddenly come to a stop, 
we'll know about it just in case you know what I mean and then if there's no response from you um, they, they can then uh, they can then get some help on the way to you that kind of thing so that's the update on it guys oh yeah and the final leg guys uh, as many riders as possible so if you can join in on that one that one will be absolutely brilliant we're looking for as many riders as possible on that so join in on that one if you can that's around the Iron Bridge area If you can do that one, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Anyway, if you've got any more questions about you guys, don't be afraid to give me a shot. I'll answer anything I can. If I can't answer it for you, I can get you an answer because I know all the people, you know, all the admins, so I can get you any answer you need. And like I say, just if you can give any support, whether it's just a wave going past, whether you actually want to take part as a rider, whether it's a donation, whether you want to buy merchandise, please do all the links are below, okay? Um, and at the end of the final leg, what's going to happen is if we haven't raised £5,000 by that point, a bit of a good one, this. <laughs> a couple of the lads have promised to um, wash their bikes in ladies' attire in front of everybody, so that'll be really, that'll be really good. However, I don't want to see that happen. Not because I wouldn't like to see the lads in ladies or the tire, because it would be really, really funny, but because I'd, I'd prefer we actually raise the £5,000. Uh, that'd obviously be a lot better and all that, like I say, goes to nav. But for now, guys, thanks for listening. Take it easy and ride safe. Bye!